Mike from Rock and Load. I've got the pleasure today of talking to Necro School and Emily Witch from the fantastic Witch Sorrow. Thank you for talking Hello, to sir. us, guys. Hello. Thank you. Pleasure to talk to you. You're playing on the Dog Tooth stage tomorrow at 12.40. Yes. Um, what do you have in store for the fans? 25 uh, minutes of doom. 25 yeah. minutes of doom. You're only yeah. getting 25 minutes. Yeah. yeah. That, that, was, that was a tough, uh, tough set to put together. Yeah, 25 minutes of doom, metal, Armageddon to... Uh, really bring everybody up on a rainy Sunday morning after they've had two days of getting absolutely, absolutely soaked. Absolutely. Nice and hungover. Yeah. Nice and hungover. <laughs> but everyone's kind of really looking forward to going home, but they're all sticking around for Iron Maiden. And then we come on and just remind them how bad they feel about themselves. <laughs> Are you sticking around for Iron Maiden? Of course. Definitely. Yes. Absolutely, of course. Um, you know, you can't not. Like, I've seen uh, this show already. Um, I saw it in Germany a couple of weeks ago, right, cool. and it's awesome. Yeah. Um, it's one of the best Maiden sets I've ever seen, and really? there's half of it's new stuff, and it's still amazing. Not that that would be a bad thing, but the like, new album is fantastic. You, yeah, though, so. it's just, I was surprised that it was, you know, you know, in the top three times I've ever seen them with that much new stuff. Yeah, um, it's just phenomenal, and yeah, you, know, you can't not watch Iron Maiden. No. And only a band like Maiden, sorry about talking about Maiden and not yourselves, we'll get on to yourselves in a minute. I like talking about Maiden. <laughs> only a band like Iron Maiden can headline a festival and play half the set off their new album. Yeah, it's such a of, good thing though, it's classics. such a good thing that they just don't come out and do the standard greatest hits every time yeah. and they just still come out and actually yeah. do something that's credible and... No, it's good. Yeah. That's why they're the best because... Yeah, absolutely. Because they do, like when A Matter of Life and Death came out, they played the whole thing. Uh, you know, they they do put themselves on the line a lot, but people like them for it. That's why people respect yeah. them so much because Absolutely. they haven't. You know, they, they do walk quite a, a rocky path sometimes. Because um, you know, if if you're playing a whole album and people don't like it, you're kind of screwed. But they're you know, sort of two fingers, and we're going to do maiden, and yeah. we're going to do what they, we they want. do they're exactly what they want. They can do what they want. Yeah, Some exactly. the words that are my mouth. <laughs> right. Um, do you know? Have you got many fans coming along tomorrow? We, I've seen a couple of patches, um, seen a couple of t-shirts, which is quite good. Um, yeah. I've, got, I've got a couple of friends things, but honestly, I, I don't know I, how it's go I'm prepared all. tomorrow to walk into three three people in the sound man. Um, but if it rains, if it rains, bingo. <laughs> um, even if it doesn't, I'm sure it'll be packed because I'd like I, to think I, so. I don't see many bands out download that don't get a packed tent. It's true, actually. That's a good thing about downloading. That's, yeah. that's reassuring. Rain or shine. Is this the first time at downloading? No, no, no. no. You, is it the first time playing at downloading? <laughs> yes. First time playing, yes. Yeah. But you've been as punters. Yeah, yeah, I've been every every single year. Yeah, so how cool is it? When you got, when you got the nod to say, right, we want you to play at download, how did you feel It was like was, six weeks ago. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it, it's not really been very long we've known about it. We, we'd written it off, like, oh, next year maybe. We'll get in earlier next year and ask. And then, yeah, copying emailed us and said do you, you want to do it, this you got it from Andy Coffin did you? yeah yeah not from one of his guys you got the email from Andy Coffin yeah, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was a nice feeling <laughs> so how what what's his um, how, how does he come across bands like yourselves to ask you to play it download well I kind of badger him every year and ask him and I know him sort of away from band stuff as well a little yeah. bit uh, for Live Nation things and stuff um, and I, every year I email him and go, come on, we love it. <laughs> and this year I be, sort of begged and pleaded, go, this is the last chance we're going to have to play with Black Sabbath. Yes. Please, please, any, like anywhere, like any stage, any time. First, like I don't care. Band, yeah, like, <laughs> I'll be in the car Friday park. Morning. Just so that our name and their name is on the same poster and you can, you know, you can see it. I don't care. And, it, he's, and you know, we, we wrote it off, like, oh, you know, it's not going to happen. And then, yeah, six weeks ago, got an email through, uh, which was, Amazing feeling, like it's, it's, it's quite still triumphant. not quite sunk in. I don't think. No. I just feel like I'm here, like as a punter as normal. Right. Okay. So I don't think it's going to sink well, into. We're like the press tent, and we're telling yeah, you that you're here. Yeah, <laughs> it's slowly going in there, but I think it's not going to be until like we're standing on the side of the stage with guitars tomorrow that it's yeah. properly going to be a real thing. I think. I've, um, I've seen your uh, Facebook page where you've made the poster, and it's got Iron Maiden, um, Black Sabbath, <laughs> Saxon, Witch Sorrow. <laughs> That's. Uh, that, that is kind of our little statement really like it's kind of this is what if you're into this you'll get this like it's to kind of there's there's so much music here which is brilliant um you know it's, it's really wicked that there's such a wide variety of stuff because you can like then anyone could blow anyone away like and it doesn't matter if you like metal and you go and watch like no effects and suddenly 
Although if you like metal, then you go and see No Effect Trinity because they're on the same time as Black Sabbath. Yes, I know. Um, <laughs> exactly. Which is annoying. Um, but um, I'm hoping to catch both tonight. I'm, yeah, a, I'm a big No Effect yeah. fan. I hope I want to catch Sabbath as well. So I'm hoping to catch both. But it's um, yeah, like it's it's weird. Like, there's such a big variety of music on, and you know it's quite nice to to be able to go. We are like an underground heavy metal band. We've, you know, we you know this isn't like a career thing. We're playing because it's like fun, and we're going to come, and you're going to get more metal from like this. You know, we're bringing underground doom yeah. here. Yeah, it feels quite weird for us because you know we you know we have, you know even though we're you know it was Pine Farm now and stuff from a big yeah. label and all this kind of stuff, we're still like. We'll be turning up in like our car tomorrow, yeah. just with the stuff in the back, and probably we won't be able to convince security that we're actually here for a proper reason. We won't win security. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We had that at Sonosphere, didn't you? We yeah. played at Sonosphere in 2011, and Emily had a bit of a debacle. I just struggled to get my camera through security. And went, I'm pressed, I'm pressed. No, I have to tell my manager, but I'm pressed. Yeah, <laughs> kind of, yeah, kind of need it. Emily ended up driving the car across the arena. Did you? Yeah, atmosphere. because nobody knew like where I was supposed to go, and I was there in a little Ford Fiesta, like loaded with all of our guitars and stuff. It was mental. Angriest <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> right, one last question because we've not got much time at all. Um, you're on a festival bill of five bands. You're slap bang in the middle, but you have the choice. Who goes on before you? Who goes on after you? Who would you choose? Before us, um, you got two before, two after. Before us. Be kind of a young new band that we like. Yeah, for us, I think, yeah, King Goat before us. Yeah, Perhaps Seabar, brilliant. Yeah, we love yeah King Goat and Sea Bastard are two. Two bands we played quite a lot with and we just love and yeah. just yeah. Yeah. hang yeah. out with. Yeah. And I would love to see Sea Bastard at a festival because they're bad enough. Just and they got one of the on best names ever. Yeah. <laughs> and then above us, uh, I'd say Witch Finder General, right. the original oh. lineup. Yeah. Headlining. Um, Where'd you go from there? Van Halen, right? <laughs> Just really? So you can see them. <laughs> Is it Van Halen? I, like, they're, they're the last like legendary kind of mega band I've I've yet to see. And so purely personal. <laughs> with Dave Lee Roth. Yeah, with that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, only playing the early stuff. Yeah, the original like, stuff. For, you know, they'd have an hour and a half, no fucking around, just to play that stuff. David Lee Roth is. He's got an ego ramp and he's got the surfboard, even though yes. that's not technically Van Halen. I still want to see that. But I've never, se I've never seen David Roth on his own. I've never seen Van Halen, and I really want to. And it's I just selfish, feel like it's really. never going to happen. <laughs> I'm selfish. I saw David Roth here with Steve Vai on the skyscraper. Oh wow! Tour. Well, the tour, but yeah. it was, it was the, yeah. that album he was on here. It was, yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, oh, oh, that's the last one. Like, I've seen you know all those sort of old time events, you know Aerosmith and all yeah. of them, and I, I just like, I love Van Halen so much yeah. that I would just love to see them. Go so, well. load of doom, and then Van Halen. What an eclectic <laughs> lineup, but one of the best lineups I've had all weekend. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. Sir. Hopefully, it goes well for Thank you, you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Hope and so. I'll see you again.